Mexico? Dad? Stop calling me Dad. You're a failure as a son. Hey, what did I do? You were supposed to look cute and adorable and in need of a mother figure. With a mother of a figure. <laughs> but Lucas, my man, you're shooting blanks here. That was a stupid idea. The lad makes a good point. <laughs> oh, and that gerbil you're carrying is a babe magnet. <laughs> Pixie is not a gerbil. She's a Yorkshire Terrier, a, a purebred that has feelings and deserves respect. Don't you, baby? <laughs> oh, do that louder. It's going to be raining women any minute. All right, son. Time for plan B. You see that woman sunning herself on the blanket over there? I'm going to throw you the football. I want you to drop it. I know you don't need that last instruction. <laughs> then trip over her, and I'll come by and apologize profusely. Couldn't you just walk over and say... Hi. <laughs> Kids. <laughs> All right, Lucas. Hut, hut, hut. Hey, you're really getting good at that. Thanks. Stop it. <laughs> Is that your little boy? Well, I can't stand kids. Who can? Kids? I spit on them. <laughs> <laughs> Can I have my child back? I don't have your child, but if I did, there'd be spit all over him, I'll tell you that. <laughs> so, where were we? Uh, you were pretending not to notice my butt. <laughs> right, sorry. Make it up to me. Let's do something wild. Okay. <laughs> Stop it. I'm nervous, okay? I've got a date tonight, and I haven't, you know, had one in a while. How long? Fourteen years. <laughs> See, with marriage, everything is familiar, and then predictable, and then incredibly irritating. <laughs> with dating, you have to guess what's going to be irritating 14 years down the road. You think that far ahead? Don't you? All I'm thinking about is my date tonight with the fabulous Kelly. And the only irritation I feel is more like an itch. <laughs> with news, loved ones, I make quick work with Leo and we're 50 bucks to the good. Guess what, Mom? I've got a date tonight. Well, praise the Lord and pass the ammunition. Of course, just because he's a high school history teacher, a Boy Scout leader, and a big brother doesn't mean he'll be good with kids. Actually, Vanessa, I don't think you're good enough for him. This is just a date, right? I mean, you haven't signed anything. Well, Mom, why bother dating somebody unless he's somebody you could marry? Oh, I don't know. Fun, the smell of aftershave, a free dinner? What if we run out of small talk? What if I choke on a peppercorn? What if I remind him of his ex-wife? Or worse, what if the children hate him? They can't hate him. They don't even know about him. <gasps> because I haven't told them. How can I tell them their mother's going on a date? Like this. Kids, do you believe in miracles? Come on, Matt. Thanks so much. <laughs> what do you think? That's a shower curtain, right? <laughs> Don't you have a date of your own to get dressed for? I am dressed. See, that is the difference between men and women. Women get caught up in superficial outward appearance, while men try to see through the clothing. <laughs> Maybe that didn't come out right. No, I'm going to stay with that. Matthew, even your Neanderthal babble isn't going to get me down tonight. I am not trying to get you down. This is just my adorable way of telling you that I'm happy for you. I'm going out for a quiet, intimate evening with a man. <laughs> a night of romance. That's something actually you know nothing about. Oh, yeah? Did I mention that I'm not wearing any underwear? 
by the way, if a brother's opinion counts, go with the blue dress. The blue dress? The blue dress is matronly, voted for George Bush, sleeps in flannel. The blue dress makes you look long-legged and busty. <laughs> Honey, you're beautiful. Old whatever his name is doesn't stand a chance. Martin Westminster. Oh, kind of a sissy name, isn't it? <laughs> Allow me. You better have flowers. Oh. <laughs> Hi. Flowers? The man's a stinking rainforest. <laughs> Come on in, come on in. Uh, Martin, Westminster. Matt Bailey, Vanessa's brother. Westminster, what's Minster? That's kind of a uh, British name, isn't it? How are you, Martin? Tip top. Okay, I know that's British. <laughs> oh, for you, Vanessa, I hope you like them. Oh, they're beautiful. You shouldn't have. No, that's a lie. <laughs> How do you do, Grace Bailey? Mrs. Bailey, you've got a terrific daughter. Oh, she's my first, you know. Two weeks overdue. Oh, that is a night I'll never forget. My water broke right in the middle of your place. Mom? Yes, we're proud of her. And these are my wonderful children, Abby and Lucas. Hey, sport. Yeah, I saw you throw that football in the park. That's some arm you got there. Yeah, I taught him that. If you like, I got some friends on the Rams. You know, if you ever want some professional tips. Really? When? <laughs> I'll make some calls. What do I get? Abby. Well, I would think a pretty young lady like you would get anything she wants. Sold. <laughs> So, I guess it's time for Martin and I to, you know, go. Whoa, 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 whoa. As head of the household, I have a few questions first. Head of the household? Oh, it's a little game we let him play. <laughs> Shoot. <laughs> All right. To begin with, <clears throat> when can we do this Rams thing? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Look, I'm just very protective of my sister's feelings. Since when? I don't know. This is new ground for all of us. Work with me here. <laughs> So, I'd like to know a little bit about you and your intentions towards this young lady. Well, all the... Hi, Matt. Good answer. You kids have fun. Kelly, Kelly, Kelly. I love a girl who sneaks up on me. Don't tell me. Show me. <laughs> um, I'll just say it. I think I'm starting to be attracted to you. <laughs> funny. You okay, Matt? <laughs> My lips, very dry. You had fun, huh? Well, you know, that depends on what you call fun. If it's never being more than an inch away from a beautiful woman with an amazing attitude, then yeah, it was pleasant. What's your name? Kelly. Barnes. Barber. Barga Berber Nugan Indermins. Barga Berber Nugan Indermins? You don't even know her last name. Hey, it was only our first date. You were kissing. Well, still legal in this state last time I checked. So how was your date? Oh, fine. We took Abby and Lucas to the county fair. You took Abby and Lucas on your date? So there wasn't a lot of kissing. At least I know his last name. Hey, I know stuff about Kelly. Like she's a freelance writer and a part-time model. Guess which one pays the rent. Spare me the details. So, like, um, where'd you go? To the beach. The beach? Yeah, we drove by it. Strolled along it, waded into it, and then tossed pennies and made a wish. Did it come true? Almost. <laughs> Till that big wave rolled in. <laughs> Speaking of which, anything roll over you and old Martin? Well, it was just our first date. You know, it takes time to get to know a person. You know, I find one long kiss tells me all I need to know. Hmm. I remember those days. Hmm. Clearly, 